What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Uh, same day as we ended the last video off. If you didn't watch it, go and watch part one of the piece of piece beautiful of R33 of this bloke's here. It's gross. Uh, anyway, <laughs> we've hooked up our radiator hose to our newly RTV thingo in there. Um, we're gonna leave the radiator cape off for the rest of the day. Uh, it is getting late in the afternoon now. Uh, so we'll leave the radiator up cap off for the rest of the day so we don't pressurize it and give that overnight sort of time to set but what i really wanted to do today uh being wednesday afternoon i want to get this thing running i want to get it on the dyno we want to get just uh we want to get that sort of initial uh area of the map sorted on the dyno today uh because that's sort of where you need to set all your cold start parameters from and they're based off off that area of the map so we want to get that sorted today so in the morning we can do the cold start uh, so that way we can finish the tune tomorrow and hopefully by tomorrow afternoon the car is actually right for Zach to take it and leave and um, take it take it far, far away from here. I want to get it out today so that that's sorted. So we're just um, putting some water in it and uh, we'll get the laptop out. We'll hook it up, pull some fuel out of that map so we'll start it up. Um, and then we'll work on, we're going to move this 33, put it somewhere outside under the cover for now. Might just push it into this area once this 33 is out of here. And we'll start on just uh, getting the tune, just that initial stages of the tune today. And then, yeah, tomorrow we've got uh, Adam the Creature coming out to help us weld up some stuff in the alley. So that'll be good. So you'll see that all in this episode. All right, guys. Well, this is probably not where he expected us to be right now. Huh. <laughs> this has gone a bit backwards, isn't it, Zach? The fucking STD 33 strikes again. What an absolute is... piece of trash. <laughs> anyway, so what happened was uh, we got it all together, got it running. Got it over to the, the dyno cell here, um, you know, plugged in the sniffer, started doing the fueling, got it idling nice and good. Um, everything was sweet. Started leaking oil again, you know, that oil leak we fixed in the last episode that we thought might have been a main seal. Um, turns out it wasn't the main seal. Regardless, it was good to replace that main seal anyway because it was pushed in too far. So it was good to actually get that replaced. But it wasn't the main seal. <laughs> um, and after some... You know, vast investigating, there was a lot of oil uh, for such a little time running. We were like, it's got to be coming from someone that's feeding. We were starting to get a little bit worried that it is definitely, that it was coming from the oil feed on the oil pump um, through the gasket. We were worried the gasket had failed around the oil feed. Just the amount of oil that had come out in the, for the amount of time that it had been running, it had to be coming from somewhere that oil was feeding. It couldn't have just be coming from a seal. Um, wasn't going to be happening. Uh, so anyway, the fact is, to pull the oil pump off to check that gasket, it's pretty much a motor out job, because the only way to do it properly, really, is to get the sump off, and uh, when we do RBs, we really glue these sumps on, because the stock RB sump gaskets are just trash, so we usually just RTV them, otherwise they leak. And, you know, to actually try and get the RTV off just the oil pump, to get the oil pump forward, because you can't lift it up because it's on dealt, um, is the only way to do that property, properly, really, and then reseal it properly is to have the motor out of the car. So, we thought, we're not doing that unless we can absolutely confirm that we had to so we put every we pulled all the timing gear off to check got to that point we thought we'll put everything back on with no timing covers so we left the backing plate off we left all the timing covers off we just chucked everything on with the harmonic balancer and uh we ran it up just to just idled it up just to try and find the leak and we did actually find that it was coming from the intake cam gear um specifically so you know specifically the intake cam which is your VCT cam, as most of your RB25ers know. Uh, we have confirmed it's definitely not the seal. Uh, we'll probably replace it again anyway, because we have one. Um, so we will do the seal again. But uh, like we checked the actual running surface of the VCT gear when it came off and it was all bone dry. Um, but yeah, it, it seems to definitely be coming from this actual join in the gear here, where this inner part actually joins to the outer. That seems to be where it's actually coming from, which makes sense because obviously VCT feed is an oil feed, so it's under pressure. Um, we tried just disconnecting the VCT solenoid and ran it up again just to see. I thought maybe disconnecting the VCT solenoid may actually um, stop it from leaking, but I must. I imagine that the solenoid must actually push the feed closed. Um, so even with the disconnected, it was still leaking like crap out of there. And we've pulled the um, actual cam gear off this sort of VCT mechanism. And this is the first time I've ever actually closely looked at one of these. Uh, to be honest, I've never actually really looked that closely into the VCT setups on the RB25s. But it doesn't seem to be serviceable at all. I can't see any way to get it really apart. Um, there's no clips, there's no screws, there's nothing there. Um, unless that inner sort of presses out and it goes from there. But regardless, it just looks like a headache. Um, which is a real pain. Okay. 
So at this stage, what we're doing is looking for another VCT gear. We're going to try and Zach's going to use his, you know, his, his uh, big YouTube and Instagram following to try and get hold of another VCT gear ASAP so we can get another one in. Like I said, we'll do that seal as well. Try and get another gear in there. Try and get this thing sorted because friggin' hell it is testing our patience. Um, if not, the other option I can do is just take the VCT solenoid out and bung it off like what people do when they delete VCT. Um, when you go to non-VCT cams, that's what a lot of people do is actually pull that VCT solenoid out and you can actually just bung the feed. Uh, so that's the other option I can do just to get us out of trouble. Although obviously for this setup, we want to get VCT back going again because it will maximize our um, power curve. So ideally, hopefully can get another VCT cam gear from someone, if not, that's second, that's last resort. It's just to bung off the feed for now until we can get another one, so. Heaps of fun. Strikes again. How good is it? I love it. Oh, Samet's calling. Do you want to speak to Samet? Samet? Yeah. Woo! All right, so we just had a chat to Samet from Japan. Samet and Zaka. Boys. Oh yeah, we're just, we're so close. <laughs> Um, so anyway, I had a chat to Samet, uh, he reckons they might have some at Otaku, uh, which is in Kabulta, which is not far from where I live. So, um, we might see if we can get one of them in the morning. In the meantime, we're trying our best on all our socials to try and get hold of one ASAP. Would have been nice to get one tonight, because then reckons that could have got this back together so it was ready to go in the morning again. Yes. But at this stage, it's, um, see what happens between now and morning, as far as trying to source one, and then... Uh, if we can't, we sort of have two options as either, yeah, bung the feed, run it until Zach can get another one, uh, or we can just put it back together and Zach can just deal with this uh, immense oil leak for a little while. <laughs> to be honest, I think if I don't get anything tonight, I'll, or any any lead tonight, yeah. I'll put it back in and we'll run it and then I'll deal with it when we get back home. Yeah, okay. As long as it will be sweet for that drift event. Yeah, it'll be fine. I'll, I'll, just, take, I'll just take a spare five lettered thing of oil. Oh, like, it looks <laughs> like a lot. It's yeah. just not, yeah, it looks like shit loads, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's as long as you keep an eye on your oil, much, yeah. like, you know, a little bit of oil looks like a lot, but. Like put a drip tray whatever. out and then just refill it back into the engine when we're done. <laughs> Look at his face. Yeah. Oh, it looks brilliant. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go home because it's like seven o'clock, so, and I've still got an hour and a half drive to go home, so. I'm. <laughs> Going home, I'll be back in the morning and hopefully this thing's either finished or in the dam. <laughs> I don't care which one. Uh, Righto guys, rolling into day four of this two day job. Yeah. Makes sense when you think about it. Yeah. Anyway, we've got Adam out here today. Uh, so we're going to weld on a little nubby boy for the IAC. And Adam's also going to make it so that the intake air temp sensor works in there as well for us so that it's in the right position. Nice. A noose. Yeah. Um, we've had no luck thus far on finding another VCT cam gear, which is fun. The joy. We have pretty much one last ditch effort of our local bloke that may have one, so we're just waiting to hear back from him. So we'll give if it like not, another. JV weld around the outside of it, <laughs> or we just weld it. <laughs> no. Anyway, we're going to give him like another probably half an hour, maybe or 15 minutes to let us know whether he's got one or not and yeah. then the leaky boy will just go back on supposed to get one last night i can say that on your video not mine yeah annoyed why would you just say that on your video fuck that guy fair call yeah what are you bitch <laughs> <He's sick. laughs> you trust me to put another one back on within the week but i'm just i'm not gonna <laughs> I don't trust you to do anything. <laughs> the fact is, if you do it, it's your problem. <laughs> well, very true. <laughs> if you call me up and you're like, this cam gear didn't work, I'm like, oh, well, I didn't put it you on. You wait till you see my comment section when you don't fix my car. <laughs> I'll tell how everyone, dare how dare he do that? <laughs> I'll be like, I don't know, I don't listen to my, no, I can't do it. I put a leaky one on there. Half <laughs> uh, through to 13. Right. Hey. So I went to grab this the other day because I was like, 10's a little small. Ten and a half. Um, <laughs> wait, what? Makes sense when you think about it. <laughs> e e explain. <laughs> explain yourself. All right. So, like, at the end of yesterday, I was starting to get real pissed off at the fact this was like taking ages because we've got so much to do. Like, we've got this R33 to finish. Parts are here for that. We've got the Mustang, which we're still waiting on parts for, but it's got to get done this week. Uh, I've got FG outside. We've got to do that. We've got another two R31s out over the under the cover. We've got another GU Patrol with a Bondi B25 in it. We've got to do as well. 
we have so much work just piling up. We got the VY uh, 383 build in there. We still got to freaking do as well. We're still trying to get rods for. Um, like we're just so busy that in my head I was just stressing and it's pissing me off. But today I've just got some acceptance that this week's a write-off because of this piece of junk. I'm sorry. <laughs> All I don't. I don't even know you. what to. I don't even know what to say. Like, <laughs> what, what can I do to make you guys feel better at this current point in time? Like nothing. I need to like. I Take need this to, away. I need to like produce a VCT cam gear on like a <laughs> silver platter right now and just go here, sir. I need to shit it out the ass. <laughs> Look at this. Freaking Jesus, the weather today is just off tap. All right, guys. Unfortunately, no luck sourcing another cam gear. So we're just gonna put it on and it's just gonna leak. Uh, but at least, at the very least, we know what's leaking. We know it's not a big issue, apart from the fact that it leaks, um, but you know, it's not detrimental. So uh, it sucks, but it is what it is. We're running on limited time. Zach's got to drive this car home because he doesn't have a tow oh, car. Oh yeah, and trailer. I kind of like, I kind of like booked in for Friday night drifts. No, he's booked in for night. Friday night drifts. So, <laughs> you know, this, they, we're literally, <laughs> yeah. we're just out of time. And unfortunately where we are is sort of pretty secluded and there's not a lot of people around that have parts and we don't have the time to go drive down the fricking hip switch or something. So, um, I've had a few offers from people. Like I chucked it up, we chucked it up on socials and stuff. There's been a few offers from people from hip switch, offer us gears. You know what's not gonna leak? This silicon joint. That's because I did it. <laughs> it's like... So I um, might hit up a few of those guys and see if Zach might be able to get a gear off them at Friday Night Drifts on Friday. Um, but it's, this is just gonna have to get changed over again later on. So it sucks, but it is what it is. Uh, at the very least, we can get it together, get the tune done. It'll be fine. It's just going to leak oil. But yeah, sad. Ooh, so yeah, nice, Adam. That looks dog shit. I'm still playing the settings. So Adam's just trying to get the welder set up right. Uh, as, as I said to you guys, me and Rex very much have lacked in the setup of the welder for doing alien and stuff like that. We don't know enough, know enough about it. Um, as a load of girls on my channel would know, Adam is very, very colored uh, as far as stainless goes and doing a lot of sheet metal, but he actually himself hasn't done heaps of alley stuff. He actually just got a new job, which he starts on Monday, uh, doing alley welding. So he, he was pretty keen to come out here today to get a little bit of Ali practicing before he goes to his new job on Monday. Um, but yeah, we're really excited for him to get, start doing alley welding every day, because then he can actually come here and teach us how to weld alley properly, and then that's another skill that we definitely need to develop. So I'm um, excited for that. Anyway, in the meantime, we're just still working along here, getting this sorted out. Need to change the shirts. Zach put a big oil puddle. <laughs> what do they do? You need to change the shirts, put a big oil puddle in there. <laughs> Very funny. We've got one leaky boy back together. <laughs> So the development that was made, um, so Zach has a, another friend that he reckons is often up around at his house and stuff, works across the road from... Kudos, Kudos Motorsport. Kudos Motorsport. Yeah. So apparently Kudos Motorsport have another VCT gear there for Zach, um, and Zach's mate apparently does a fair bit with RBs, so basically uh, we're going to put it together like this, tune it, run it for Friday night drifts. Um, this is pretty much how it's going to be, just leaky. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is about the third time I've said that now. Uh, <laughs> so Zach's going to get his mate to get one for Kudos Motorsport, and they're going to change it out next week. So I'm pretty happy for them to do that. Trust them that they're going to. Haven't finalised everything. It could haven't finalised it all. I just run it for a bit. <laughs> uh, whatever. It, it's it's up to Zach to pretty much sort that out. Really, uh, <laughs> is is what I'm getting at. Um, I'm going to yeah. put in my video that it's your fault. <laughs> it's my fault the VCT my. gear got broken. Yeah. <laughs> no. Anyway, it is what it is. But back together so as soon as Adam's finished doing his fabrication uh, we can get it on the diner. Put your camera that way how's that me? How's me a problem? <laughs> what? Did you say move? No oh. I said me. Oh, yeah that right. was me. Fucking get out of the way. Oh we'll fucking anyway, punch you Chris. Guys <laughs> we are ready to go again uh, so Adam has done us the solid as you can see this intake pipe now has our little nub on there for the IAC and we've also got our intake air temp in the correct location and I've just bung off that one in the manifold. So Zach actually does now have a spare 18 MPT port in the manifold. Thanks mate! For future whatever you want to do and we're pretty much right to go. So when I put this back together I just hard um, did the CAS hard one way so I'll reset the timing offset on the ECU uh, to be right with the CAS at that position so that way it's very easy for people to take this apart and put it back together and just slam the CAS on all one way and know it's going to be timed properly again. Uh, whereas if it's not, there's always that risk of it being out of time properly. So 
Um, and yeah, so now we're just gonna try and adjust, gonna adjust the offset on the timing, and then we have to adjust the idle settings now that we actually have the ISC hooked up, and um, pretty much go again, start again, get it back on the dyno again. Thanks for my clip. No worries, mate. <laughs> Update for Max's video. Car is running. <laughs> finally dyno ready it's been a while but it's on the dyno so don't have a lot of time for tuning so once again it's probably going to be one of those things where we're not going to get everything dialed perfectly uh we we over on the hoist just starting it up we messed around with the iac and got it working pretty well so we're pretty happy with that and we have noticed that um the initial startup over there was absolutely perfect every time we started it afterwards has been perfect so we are hoping that the cold starts pretty good on this thing because once again we are going to get a good nice morning session in to actually get the cold start right because that's going to take the car this afternoon provided this dyno session goes all good so it's unfortunate it's, again it's not going to be completely perfect but at least you'll be able to go and send it at the track so but there's a few things that need to be fixed you know catch gear needs to be sorted this injector loom would be nicer if it was a bit like better sorted um so you know there's still a few things to be done but at least it's going to be finished and running properly Oh, not to mention the mad oil leak. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was about to say, this is the first time it's, I'm actually 100% happy and confident the car's going to work. Yep. I'm confident it's going to work. I'm just, <laughs> the oil leak is the only thing. Yeah, Ow. Like I said, it is what it is. It sucks, but it'll be alright. It's as good as it's ever been, and this time it's actually like... Well, look it, Look how much better it does look with the yeah. forward facing, though. Like, that engine bay looks a million times better than it And did. the best thing about it is the fact that this time it's going to have fuel. And look at this fab oh, work by Adam. I forgot to mention this intake pipe that I got off my 31 was actually originally welded up by Adam, so that's also Adam's fab work. Ages ago. <laughs> <laughs> Loved by Adam. Rightio, so currently Max is going to do some uh, just some cruise screening again. Now that we've played around with timing and done a little bit, he's just going to go back and visit that. Shouldn't be too much, but uh, yeah. Arm Peter. strap. Right, oh guys. Um, so we are all finished up. We've got our VCT tuned in. So with the RB25s, the VCT is actually just a switch type. It's not continuously variable. So uh, we've got that tuned in pretty well. Uh, it picks up really nicely down low. So uh, we've only made 282 horsepower. Is our is our max figure? It's a very good power um, power curve though. But we're yeah, just out of time. Quickly see it. Uh, there we go. We're just out of turbo pretty much. Um, I sort of thought that maybe the turbo would, would hold on for a bit longer, but it just didn't. So, um, yeah, it was sort of four, 14, four, 16 pound we ended up at. Yeah, and then um, it tapered off to about 11 inches. Yeah, or 16 pound, and then it sort of just tapers down. We can't get any more boost into it. It just, yep. the turbo's out of puff. We're at, at its max. So, um, sort of kept a fair bit of timing out of it because we just want to keep it nice and reliable for Zach. Uh, and being that stock cams, sort of stock uh, exhaust manifolds. It's a pretty small turbo, it's a stock dump pipe, so it's all fairly restrictive, so um, there's not a lot that we can do. We don't want to go jamming timing in it to just, just to make the number sort of thing, because we want the thing to be nice and reliable for Zach. It's got too much back pressure to really be jamming timing into, so... Um, yeah, it's pretty much just a nice and safe, reliable 280 horsepower in this guise um, for, for Zach to get some seat time. Um, Hell yeah, it's going to be reliable too. Yeah, should be fine. Yeah. Yes. Yep. So, you know, being that it is a max speeding turbo, they are, like I always rave on, they are great for their money, but they aren't a super efficient unit. So you don't want to go pushing them out of their efficiency. You'll get negative results really quick. Yep. Um, so 16 pounds about as much as I'd like to push that little thing. And as, yeah, as long as this Zach keeps this thing cool, keeps oil up to it with that PCT <laughs> gear. Um, yeah, yep. But apart from that, everything's tuned in. About the only other thing I think would probably add at the moment is just, yeah, a, an O2 
sensor, like an actual mm -hmm. wideband, and, and get some closed loop trimming happening. But um, yeah, it's pretty good. Should be good. Got some seat time, have some driving. Yeah, certainly. It's certainly good. the most reliable this car has ever been in its life. <laughs> now. Pr probably since it came out the factory. And now, <laughs> now that I'm actually happy with how the fueling and everything is, I just feel so much better about the fact that this car is being driven around on the street. And Rex doesn't have to see this car ever again. Protecting the investment I made in this engine. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. What an absolute mission, but it is what it is. It's not the power we wanted, but we are just out of turbo. That is all it's got. Uh, so that hot side is just restrictive, the whole lot of it. Um, but. Like I said to Zach, it's just nice, reliable seat time car now. Um, so just go out and turn some laps, get some driving fun. But damn, does it look so much better with that forward facing. As much of a pain in the ass as it was, how much work it was, it just looks so much better. So you can see uh, it sort of maintains that 16, but eventually it just tapers off and it tapers down to 12. And I tried everything I could, uh, just jam and duty cycle into it, like all the way, just gate shut, and it just, it will not make any more boost than that, so. That's how you know that you're out of turbo. Yeah, just out of turbo, plain and simple, so. Um, it is what it is, but you know, without the, the sort of, if you had a bigger turbo on it, you wouldn't have that really nice, uh, the really big sort of power area underneath, so. Um, unless you had something like really efficient, like maybe a new Garrett G-Series or something, but that is lots of money, which is probably, that one of them probably costs more than what Zach's paid for this entire car as it sits, to be honest. I, I was pricing up G-Series turbos even for my Falcon and I cannot justify it. Yeah. And the Falcon has a lot more work in it than this well, literally. <laughs> Props to what you've turned this thing into considering the piece of it's trash it was when it rocked up here. It's a really <laughs> nice STD. Like, yeah. one, of the, one of the not real bad ones. <laughs> one of the not so bad ones, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, all right. Remember like when it came in just how shitty it was driving? Absolutely. It wasn't even idle coming into yes, the garage. Uh, I absolutely remember that. <laughs> it was horrid. <laughs> All right, let's go for a drive. <laughs> but I just had to get this. Max is uh, really struggling here with this. Uh, it literally just doesn't freaking work. It does. I've been in this. guys what a nice easy two-day job that was <laughs> i tell you what i'm so glad to watch this car drive out the driveway and finally be sorted but, but even still there it still has a leaky vct oh yeah it still has a leaky vct cam gear this but car will never in our defense we did everything we yeah, could legit, to try and legit. fix it um and yeah we just couldn't we just couldn't source another gear so it is what it is so good to have this car sorted now finally running right with this new engine that we built for zach um and so excited to now finally see zach go to the track and actually make some drive do some driving so that was the whole idea of the whole thing was that i really wanted to help zach go to the track do some driving so now we can uh not gonna lie i'm gonna be so glad to watch this thing go <laughs> uh i am so happy that it's finally done um yeah, there's still a few things left to sort out, like the catch can and stuff like that. But, you know, that's stuff that Zach can do at his own leisure. Uh, he's a YouTuber. That's what he makes content about. So we couldn't do everything for him. <laughs> yes, he could. If we did everything for him, he'd have no content. <laughs> so you <laughs> said, I like how you said it'd be good to see Zach go drifting. And all I'm thinking is it'd be good to see Zach go. <laughs> just out the driveway. Uh, I'm sure Zach's excited to get home. He's been, he's been here sleeping in a swag in the shed for four days. Oh. Cold here. Yeah, Sarah, yeah. Sarah's really got a it's been a mammoth really effort by all home. involved, honestly. Yeah, so, yeah, um, yeah, it's been it's been good. It's been awesome hanging out with Zach as always. But yeah, the F33 is finally done. So anyway, now we just got to finish our car and we can go driving with Zach and not fix not fix all his issues. <laughs> you go back home to a nine-week-old puppy. That's fucked. That's stupid. Talking to a guy who's oh a yeah, you have a <laughs> read the roof. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, that, that really didn't work out. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, smash like, smash subscribe, go buy a shirt or a sticker or something. Support yeah. the channel. We'll go see you on the next one. Go check out Zach's channel if you don't already know about it. Um, yeah. Peace out. See you, bye.